a tessie thought people who tell stories with their hands rejoice if you tend to paint pictures with wild gesticulations well you may have a leg up on your hands pasted to your sides counterparts when it comes to picking up a second language or third for you overachievers and that's why i rolled out that video from the max planck institute demonstrating the vimish word a tessie which means thought it contains a key ingredient to learning a new language but first if you're going to pick up a new language well you should know what you're up against in the ted talk the linguistic genius of babies patricia cool shows a graph of language acquisition and how it correlates to age turns out that after age seven our ability to bust out of voulez-vous coucher begins to nosedive and by puberty well our second language abilities begin to fall off the map it's a kind of use it or lose it situation in which unused neural connections are pruned away in the topiaries of our brains. And while we still have the ability to create new neurons and synapses, well, it's a much slower process in adult brains. The good news is that we still have neural plasticity and we can make those connections. They just need a bit more hacking. Now think back to that video by the Max Planck Institute. It demonstrates a person engaging with language using several of their senses at the same time. Now, researchers from the Max Planck Institute for Human Cognitive and Brain Sciences created an artificial language, which we referred to before, called Vimish, similar to Italian in form. For a week, volunteers memorized the meaning of concrete nouns like bicycle and abstract nouns like thought in Vimish using three different approaches. Now, approach one, Participants read and heard a word in Vimish along with its translation. Approach two, participants also read and heard the word, but this time it was accompanied by seeing an image and a gesture that either drew the image in the air or symbolized it. Now, approach three, participants did everything in approaches one and two, except this time they performed the gesture themselves instead of just watching someone else do it. So it turns out that recall was best when the learners used approach number three, combining pictures with gestures that they made. Moreover, in an MRI follow-up, those recalling words learned with pictures activated the visual system, while recalling words learned through gestures activated the motor system. And this points to a multi-sensory theory of learning that engaging several parts of your brain at once, that can engage the turbo boosters of memory. This technique, along with something called spaced repetition, helps to seed your brain with what will hopefully become these well-entrenched second or third language roots. So in spaced retention, you might review a new word five times a day, the next maybe just a couple, and then skipping a few days or a week until you return to the word again. The idea is that you've created a breadcrumb trail back to this new information, and the more you retread it, the easier it is to find the path, even if it's weeks later. Now, apps like Duolingo use spaced repetition as well as photos to help bolster memory. Now, if you could just add a movement component with the app, well, well, you're in the multi-sensory zone. So what's the end result of all this language toiling besides learning how to ask where the library is in your new language? A big, beautiful brain, of course. People who speak more than one language fluently have better memories and they are more cognitively creative and mentally flexible than monolinguals. Oh, dimenticato. That, that just came out of my mouth. That's a little bit of Italian that I can remember and actually means I forgot, which is kind of funny. Um, I'm trying to brush up on my Italian. Do you guys have any tips out there for language acquisition? Let us know in the comments below. It would be super helpful. And to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe.